As we prepare for the Advent and Christmas season, it is a good time to reflect on the joys in our lives, for our families and friends, to our good fortune of living in this wonderful community. As many of you know, I spent more than 20 years in Latin West Africa, where I lived and worked among people who had literally nothing. They were the poorest of the poor, but their resilience and their faith in Jesus still inspire me today. Allow me to share this story with you. On the outskirts of a teeming African city, the people who lived in shacks and reclaimed swampland, a young man was returning to his home. Most of the township was ablaze, the result of tension between warring groups. He walked cautiously and he walked quickly towards his home because of the dust to dawn curfew. As he passed by a sewage laden swamp, he saw the smallest twitch of a reed. Something drew him towards that. He turned and went down towards the swamp and entered into it. He separated the reeds and he saw a newborn child wrapped in blood-stained rags. He had a very difficult decision to make. Should he take the child or should he leave it? If he took the child up, he could be accused of kidnapping the child. He decided to reach out and to take up the child. Then he also decided that the only place he could bring it to was the sisters of Mother Teresa, where the child would receive love and acceptance and the medical care that was needed so that he could survive. Once he arrived at the sister's house, he immediately took in the child, removed the dirty clothes and began to wash him. They discovered two things. First of all, that it was a little boy. And secondly, that he was so sick from malaria and typhoid that it was unlikely he would survive. Because of this, I was sent for, and so was a doctor. We arrived, and as the doctor was placing a drip into his arm, I had the opportunity to pour a small amount of water on his forehead. As I was about to baptize his name, him, I asked the sisters what name to be called him. They said, Michael, after our church and after the archangel, Michael himself. Over the next few days, Michael became, came very close to death, but gradually, with loving care and acceptance and good medical care, he became stronger and stronger. But as the days and the months and the first few years passed by, Michael was always distant and remote from the other children in the orphanage. It seemed as if he knew that he was abandoned at the very beginning of his life. I left there after 10 years and didn't return until two or three years later. Because of the high level of infant mortality, it was probably likely that some of the children in the orphanage had passed away. So when I returned, I was looking for Michael, but did not see him. I feared the worst and was happy to leave there, knowing that Michael had not died, but maybe he was somewhere else. As I left, one of the sisters came running after me and said, Father John, I want to tell you about Michael. As I turned around, she pulled a photograph from her, from her tunic. And she showed me a very beautiful, very strong, beautiful boy in Paris, in France, Michael's new adopted home. Michael is now about 10 years old, just like many of the children here in Libertyville. He will wait for Santa on Christmas Eve, sleeping in a warm, comfortable bed with a loving family around him. Michael may never know the earliest days of his life. He may never know of the fear of his mother who abandoned him or the courage of the anonymous young man who rescued him, or the sisters who loved him back to health. However, the most important story is the story behind Michael's story. This is the story we are celebrating at Christmas. It is the story of God's presence in the world, which is often anonymous and found in the darkest and seemingly most insignificant places. It is the story of another child, the child Jesus, whose birth among us reveals to us that just as Michael was founded by love, we are too by, are found by love, by the birth of the child Jesus in our midst.
Have a wonderful and blessed Christmas. May God bless you and your families.